Installing flooring on concrete is different to installing on other surfaces in your home. Concrete's hard and cold and allows outside moisture to get in and inside moisture to condense on top of it. To show you the importance of subfloor when installing flooring on concrete, I'm going to run through the basement science of dry core so you can see why you don't build without it. Concrete is porous as it contains tiny fissures or capillaries which allow moisture vapor into your home. If trapped, this moisture will likely cause mold and mildew to grow, damaging your finished floor and creating an unhealthy environment. A capillary break stops this process as it acts as a barrier to this moisture. All dry core subfloors feature a capillary break, whether high density plastic in dry core subfloor or protective foam in the subfloor R Plus and dry core insole armor panels. With a capillary break, you're less at risk to a damp, musty, expensive problem. A thermal break is any area that reduces temperature transfer. Concrete's conductive. If it's cold underneath, it's gonna get cold on top. A thermal break helps reduce this cold reaching your finished floor, making it warmer. And it works both ways, insulating your room, keeping the heat in, and reducing your energy bill. All dry core subfloors offer a thermal break measured using an R value. The higher the R value, the more effective the break. Dry core subfloor is R1.4. Dry core subfloor R plus is R3 and dry core insole armor is R4.1. In the example of installing LVT, that's an increase in temperature of up to 10 degrees Celsius or 19 degrees Fahrenheit. And the temperature gain is even greater for some other floors like carpet. You can see that each of dry core's subfloors are raised, allowing for the flow of air in the gap created beneath the subfloor. This is to keep air moving and prevent water vapor from condensing, again, risking damage to your nice new finished floor. It'll also protect against small water leaks by allowing that water to travel under the floor to your floor drain. When you put all this basement science together, then dry core subfloor becomes an essential part of laying down a new floor. Dry core, don't build without it.